Love that opening. Yes, hey, ladies and gentlemen of Twitch and YouTube land. Welcome, welcome. We are finally playing the Cuphead DLC. Cuphead is a fantastic game, one of my absolute favorite modern games made. I have had a blast playing it casually, and I've even done some speed runs of it. It's been a lot of fun, and I can't wait to start the DLC. I'm going in totally blind. I've seen the trailers, but I've not seen any actual gameplay footage of it after it's come out. I have forced myself to not look anything up because I want to experience it blind, and we're going to be doing that today. Uh, I have no idea how long the DLC is. I don't want any spoilers on this, so it might take more than one stream to get through it all. It's almost certainly going to because I know this DLC has been in development for a while, and I assume it's adding a decent amount of content. It's at the very least adding some new bosses. It may add some new run and gun stages. I hope it adds some new weapons and charms as well. That would also be really, really cool. But I'm really just expecting some new bosses, and since I've never seen these before, Cuphead bosses, if you haven't played them before, take a while to figure out their patterns. So I'm going to be dying a lot. I don't know how much I'll be able to get through in one stream, and because of the frustrating nature of Cuphead, I will I don't have a definite time period I'm going to be streaming for. I'm going to stream until I feel like being done. That's basically how it's gonna go. <laughs> so yeah, there there we go. Uh I, yeah, they did make a Cuphead TV show. I have not seen it. It seems interesting. I don't intend on watching it, but I guess it's kind of cool. I like Cuphead because of the gameplay and the art style, not generally because of the stories. But, I mean, hey, it's cool that they're kind of bringing back classic cartoons, then. <laughs> no, that's fine. You're alone for the ride as well. And hello, Proxima. It's nice to see you. You're just in time for us to start the Cuphead DLC. Oh, one other thing before I start. Is the volume in... Is the in-game volume too quiet? Because I set the in-game volume to be fairly quiet for my speedruns. But actually, I think I'll turn it up a little bit. I won't have it at the maximum level, because then it's just blasting in my ears. But, yep, yeah, there we go. I want to at least be able to hear the music, and I want you guys to hear the music as well, because this game has got really good music. It's a running theme of the games that I play. Start the DLC. Cuphead in the delicious last course! Oh yeah, they also added uh, Chalice as a new playable character, which is really cool. The Cuphead DLC! A brand new aisle waits! Okay, so it's one new island, so it's probably going to be about a third of the length of the game. That's... okay, that's... Maybe it... I don't know, that's that's what it seems like, because there are kind of three worlds in Cuphead, and each of them is a different island, or a different part of the island, so... Maybe it's literally the same length as the game, maybe it's like a single world in the game, I do not know, so... We're all going into this blind, it looks like. This is fantastic. There will be no spoilers, and I can figure things out as I go. All right. Let's start. Um, excuse me. Oh my gosh. I thought it was free DLC. <laughs> Why did I think it was free DLC? Oh, so I don't- I technically haven't bought the DLC yet. Okay, well... Delicious, last 
Okay, that song was a freaking bop. Wow! <laughs> what an amazing start. <laughs> I, I love I love the old timey sound to the Cuphead songs. I don't, you just don't hear much stuff that sounds like that these days. Like the lady singing has just that that old timey feel to it, and I love it. All right, delicious last course is installed. Yes, I'm not a doo doo head. I figured out how to do it now. I actually got to pay money. <laughs> oh, I have to start maybe. Okay, um, so maybe if I delete this here, maybe not. Oh! Okay, so I have two different... Okay, it says here DLC 0%, so it's presumably I can go to the DLC island from one of these... Alright, let's do our first file. This is my main one. Uh, I know the game is called Cuphead, but I gotta go with my man, Mugman. He's like, what? You can't do that! <laughs> yes, I can. I like Mugman a little bit better. He's got a cooler color scheme. Okay, so I guess I'll wander around the aisle and see if I can, uh, find a new NPC somewhere. Oh, maybe I can ride the boat in the first island to a new island. Oh, hey, it's a timepiece. <laughs> the legendary chalice has an urgent message for you. Find me on the coast, cups. Oh, uh -huh, there he is. Oh, yeah. So in this, this is the folder where we've 200 percented everything. So we even have pacifist mode, and we've got everything. We bought everything, and we did expert mode on all the bosses. We will only be doing standard mode uh, for these new bosses. A legendary chalice bid me carry a message to you. She needs your help. A far off isle. A mysterious discovery. The boat awaits. Let us depart. Yes. Cuphead, you're not. You weren't with us before. This guy looks shady. The delicious last course. Oh, and we got the Teletubby son as well. <laughs> what could the legendary chalice be looking for all the way out here? Gosh, Cuphead, I don't know. I hope she's okay. We sure are far from home. There she is. Jumpin' Jelly Beans, you boys made it! I have the most amazing news! We're so happy! And it all has to do with this here cookie! Take a bite and see for yourselves! I love the animation. So good! It worked! It really worked! I'm alive again! Now Cup Mugman's a- But now I'm a ghost! <laughs> What's going on here? Everything's gone topsy-turvy! Follow me, boys! I can explain everything! She just killed Mugman! What the heck? For ages I've been trying to find a way to escape the astral plane, but nothing worked! Until now! Boys, let me introduce you to... Chef Salt Baker, the greatest chef in all the lands. Ha ha! He, he looks like a baker I've seen in one of them old timey Disney Looney Tunes cartoons. <laughs> welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, uh, Miss Chalice, I see my cookie has worked wonders on you. Oh my stars! I'm a ghost again. Oh my, a finicky thing, that cookie. The taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. Fret not, though, my concerned little cups. I've come up with an amazing new recipe. One bite of this wonder tart, and you'll have complete control over the astral plane. I don't trust this. <laughs> this wonder tart could bring Chalice back to life for good? No swapping places or nothing? Indeed, just one problem. The recipe requires exceptional ingredients held by the most fearsome of foes. Well, if the Wonder Tart is what it takes to bring Chalice back to life, then by golly, we'll find those ingredients! <laughs> Hi, Janae, welcome! Yeah, I absolutely play Cuphead. I've, I've speed ran it a couple times, actually. <laughs> Stay on your guard, intrepid cups! 
Fetching those ingredients will be a test of wit and wills. But remember, like any good bake, heart and soul is the secret ingredient. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's been a while. Oh. Gotta remember the controls. Is that always the dash button? I guess so. Wait, no, I wanted to talk to him again. Actually, no, Cuphead DLC was not the game I was going to play before vacation. I for yeah, no, I changed my mind again. <laughs> when I play the game I was going to play b uh, before vacation, I'll let you know. But I'm, I'm actually still on hiatus wondering when to play that. It, it's complicated, I'll, I'll tell you later. One more vein, Japs! Remember to equip that nifty cookie charm in the menu if you want to battle as Miss Chalice. Wait, does that take up my charm slot? The Astral Cookie. Gain access to her double jump, dash, parry, and invincible roll. Okay, so she actually plays differently then. Well, shucks, I'll try that out. I like charge shot and I like spread shot. Oh, and now we're we're Chalice, so she has Super Art 1, Spiral Pillar. This is different. Astral Energy shoots for Miss Chalice in a devastating vertical blast. So that sounds like the energy the energy beam, but vertical. Shield Art 2, Shield pa Super Art 2, Shield Pal. Summon a familiar form the... A <clears throat> Summon a familiar from the Astral Plane who will take one hit for you. Interesting. And Ghostly Barrage, unleash Miss, Ch Miss Chalice's ancient form and launch a Spectral Volley. Well, we gotta try these one at a time. That seems to me to be the way to do it. Uh, yeah, well, Cuphead is done in the in the style of those old-timey cartoons from, like, the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Recipe for Miss Chalice. Is that, like, a level? Oh, hey, it's, it's a cat delivering the newspapers. Extra, extra, Chef Salt Baker awarded best baker in all the lands. Oi! You're them cups that took out the devil, ain't ya? This aisle's tough, but if you sent that in packing, you got suitcases to spare. Here, pals, take a little moolah for doing the world a favor. We got free dollars for beating the devil! Oh yeah, this this game is fantastic. Like I said, it's my favorite modern day game. So, I, I don't know if this is a level or if this is like the shop. Oh no! Oh, this is... Oh, she's so cute! Oh, she cannot jump very high. But she can jump twice. Okay, interesting. Oi! <laughs> that cheeky grin! <laughs> I'm gonna pop you one! <laughs> oh, I love this already. This is already beyond my wildest dreams. Okay, interesting. So, you can parry for flavor just by dashing. That's interesting. And then down and left trigger is a dodge roll. That's crazy. Oh, that's weird though. She can't parry with her. J oh my gosh, that's so weird. She can't parry with her jumps. She can only parry with. Oh. Okay, that invincibility roll is gonna mess me up. That, man, you can't parry when you jump. That's so... F oh, Chalice! <laughs> okay, th so Miss Chalice is like a totally different way to play the game, eh? Hmm. Interesting. So I wonder if, like, the game wants you to play as Miss Chalice, or if that's, like, kind of going to be the hard mode. I don't know. Mm. Okay, well, let's explore around the aisle for a little bit. Maybe there's, there's got to be another shop around here, because we're getting more money. Well, another shore calls to you, perhaps. Oh, no, no, I want to stay here. He looks friendly on the overworld map, but in that cutscene, he looked really creepy. Well, yeah, that's kind of the idea. Cuphead and friends are kind of supposed to remind you of Mickey Mouse and friends. That's definitely intentional. 
Okay, I think... I think I'm gonna play as Mugman first. Moonshine Mob in Bootlegger Boogie. <laughs> I love it. Alright, Moonshine Mob, eh? Is this gonna be t the Tipsy Trio? Let's start. Oh, I'm so excited. New Cuphead... <laughs> Alright, I love it already. Wow, alright. This really reminds me of a Disney cartoon. Um, I think it's The Worm Turns, the Mickey Mouse cartoon, where, like, the spider starts actually... <laughs> Who are you calling? You're calling a fl... Okay, don't touch the sa the sacks. Oh my... What the heck? There are these mobster flies that are spitting smoke at me. One, two, punch. You and the cops are eating dirt. Boingo, boingo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why does that guy sound so nasally now? What happened to the old announcer? Okay, and you... It's, it looks like you can't do anything about the... Uh, Looks like you can't do anything about the, uh, special- Ooh, okay. So the guys who smoke cigars will shoot parryable stuff at us. Did he just call on the phone and say, You know, baby! <laughs> Either that, or the announcer is now taking helium. All right, first boss has already killed me a couple times. He's clearly already harder than the root pack. Oh, I want that smoke. I want that smoke. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, first phase is over. Cool, cool. Oh, there's Dancing Moonshine now. Now we've got this... Oh, I don't trust this! What the heck is the going on? This dance is over! There's no excuse! You couldn't handle the giggle juice. I don't like giggle juice. I'm, I'm more of a water guy. Well, I got halfway there, so... Oh my gosh, wait! The announcer is one of the bosses! He was one of the bugs who was, like, yelling through that, and then as the boss like, kind of does his own thing, he's like, wait, wow! <laughs> Hey, you know, baby! Oh, it's been a while since I've played Cuphead, so I am out of practice. There we go! Finally, we parried something! Okay, how much HP do these guys have? Because if so, spread... Oh, yeah, spread is way better at dealing with them. Still died, though. Ha, ah, one, two, three. Okay. Pea sugar would probably be better here. See, that yellow guy was the new announcer. So maybe it's just for this battle. Man. This guy's pattern is so simple, and yet I'm struggling. I'm riding the magic struggle bus for sure. What the heck? It blew me up! Ah, uh, you're beating the dirt. All right. It's Cuphead. The more you die, the more you learn. So you're going to die a lot. Don't kick Wormy McSquirmy around like that. Okay, he's calling the mobster flies now. I don't like the indestructible egg sacks here. I also don't like the three different levels that you have to keep ducking through it. Yikes! This guy's fast! Also, the parries are hard to get... Because of the multi-levels, it's very hard to get the parries without the pea sugar. Also, these flies definitely look like the Beagle Boys from DuckTales.
It's really hard to parry stuff that's right above you or right below you, which makes parrying on this level definitely difficult. September at the absolute latest is going to be when next Backyard Baseball happens. I was actually just talking about this or, uh, when I was installing the DLC that I didn't realize I had to install. Okay, see, that time it was easy. Oh, okay. I don't like how the music box can hurt you. This is trippy. Okay. Okay! Hi, Mr. Anteater! Oh, it's the it's the fake announcer! Oh, Snuffy, how could you? <laughs> One thing this nose knows is you cup's gonna be pushing up roses! Alright, well, that was inevitable. I was at 1 HP in a form I knew nothing about. Alright, I'm ha I am really having trouble ducking under these platforms. He keeps jumping instead. All right, Mafia Flies are here. This is reminding me a little bit of the Rumor Honey Bottoms fight, which is not a compliment. That was always one of my least favorite fights from Vanilla Cuphead. Oh, dude! Darn it. Did I pick... This seems like it's kind of a lot for a first boss. Okay. We're gonna win Peace Sugar. And... Honestly, maybe Roundabout would be... Meh. I'm gonna do Invincibility as my super art, just so that way I can use that to learn the patterns a little bit better. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is supposed to be the first boss fight you do in the DLC, or if I accidentally went to, like, a way later boss in the DLC. Or, like, boss maybe two or three instead of boss one. We'll find out later, I suppose. Okay. I don't like this phase of the fight. I feel like there's too much happening. All right, there we go. Now comes the here comes the anteater. Okay. Okay, this guy reminds me of, like, the Heffalumps and Woozles in the Winnie the Pooh song. Okay. How- where am I supposed to hit him? Oh my gosh, you can parry his ton. Okay, so you have to hit his nose when it comes on the screen. This is a very strange fight. Okay, what the heck? That the dust ball has so much HP. Nose. All right, nose. Okay, again, it's just getting the hang of the fights and kind of learning the patterns for each of them. So, like for this phase, you just don't want to get overwhelmed by his other bugs. And you can listen to what he what he yells on the phone, and that'll kind of give you a clue as to which bugs he's going to shoot. Oh, I dashed right into it. 
Great! <laughs> there's yeah, there's so much happening in this fight. So much stuff on screen all at once. Oh, uh, what's happening? Ooh, parryable mead. I love that. Doggone it, she danced into me. That's not very nice. Okay, this is so bizarre. Knockout! Is it though? No, it's not. I knew it. I knew it. Nice try. <laughs> All right, that was a pretty crazy first fight. I like it though. All right, we got the time. We had one HP left. We got all the parries. Oh man! If I had done damageless, I would have gotten the A plus. But I'll take A minus. Nice. Well, Cuphead is technically in Smash Ultimate, he's just a me costume. But I, I can live with that. Alright, we got the distillery dough. Nice. That's right, we're not getting their soul contracts anymore. Everyone on this island was smart enough to not make a deal with the devil. Hello, Miss Cactus. How's, how's it going? Boo! Did I scare ya? Nothing I love more than a good ghost story around the campfire. I'd heard word of a ghost of gal roughing up some no-good varmints round here. I reckon I'd keep track of her exploits myself. I'd sure love to tell the tale of the villainous veggies vanquished. I see this cactus over here. Esther Winchester in High Noon Hoopla. Oh boy, we're having a hoot nanny? This is all right. This is fitting. I just came back from Texas, so. Oh no, it's a it's a plane level. Oh no, Clarabelle, what happened to you? What the heck is this? What the what? This all right. This fight's already crazy. Okay, yeah, stuff's coming at you every which way. <laughs> Y'all took quite the fall. I suppose it's last call. <laughs> this match will get red oh, I should have changed my charm. Pea sugar is terrible if you're in a plane. This is so bizarre. Okay, so the, the dynamite will blow up into shrapnel, which will pop back up. It's important to know that. And we cannot shoot it out of the sky. Yeah, this definitely feels like the airplane fights. Okay, next phase. She's got a toilet plunger that's uh, vacuuming everything up. Interesting. Oh no, the gold bars, ha! Them chaps, though. Uh-oh. I'm assuming this is like Jimmy the Great and that all of the treasure will blow me will damage me if I get hit by it. Okay, her vacuum cleaner is now an, a cooker. Oh my wow! Well that's dark. Now she's a sausage. That was that was actually very dark. Oh no, I got killed by a steak! Let's be frank here! I'm your worst nightmare! There's still another phase after that, too. Well, that was crazy. Uh Let's go coffee, then. Ooh, actually! Let's try Miss Chalice in the plane. I wonder if she controls differently. She's in a yellow plane! Oh, she's... Okay. So she's got spread shot. 
Ah, okay, that was rude. So this Chalice doesn't fire as rapidly, but she fires in a spread shot format. Oh, you lassoed up top for a change. Wait, Miss Chalice has more HP as well. That's interesting. I wonder if her super is different. Yep, it auto goes forward instead of giving you complete control. The mini plane is still the same, though. I knew there would be glowing stakes. <laughs> All right, instead of the cookie, we're going coffee. <laughs> coffee. Here's a real high All right, Mugman. I love how it's the Cuphead DLC, but we were a Cuphead. Who's that? I'm gone. It. We dropped dynamite on my head before it even blew up. This is a very strange fight. I generally don't like the airplane fights nearly as much as the other fights. But this one doesn't seem so bad. And I got killed by Scrooge's bag of money. I've prepared y'all a tomb right inside my vacuum. This, match will get red hot. Now go. this, appear this is definitely the Old West. Oh man, I missed the parry. I don't know if those newspapers can damage us, but I don't want to find out the hard way. How dare you blow a raspberry at my face? The cheek. You going down, Clarabelle. I know that's not your name, but you're definitely inspired by Clarabelle. This is so weird. This phase is so strange. She's attacking me with meat. You're using what I love against me. How dare you? How dare you? There seems to just be too much stuff in this first phase. Sometimes. That's because he's heavily inspired by old Disney cartoons. That's the whole shtick of the game. Ah, oh, darn it. A lot of this fight is feeling like Jimmy the Great and Wally Warbles, both of which are quite tough, casually. Okay, the new at least at least the newspapers don't damage us. That is nice. Man, they're not throwing any par parable stuff at me. Yeah, this attack really feels like the the Jimmy the Great attack where he just throws all the treasure at you. Dog on you. Bah. Hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. <laughs> yeah, the wanted poster goes this flying. Yeehaw! Look, Clarabelle, you're under arrest for cactus having the worst crime. Okay, her lasso can damage you. We know that now. Ha ha! Ouch! Remember, folks, Cuphead is a difficult game. 
Good day for a well battle. And begin. I gotta say, I'm not super feeling the effects of the coffee. Alright. Yeah, I don't like this move. I feel like the way the treasure spawns in can make it so you just won't escape at some points. Yep, here we go. Oh, don't go on it. Darn it. Here's a real high class belt. Um, it's a different kind it's Cuphead is what I call the legitimate kind of difficult. All of the fights, no matter how unfair they may seem, all of them have very clear ways of getting through them. So you can do them damageless. Okay, I'm just gonna take the death right here. That was embarrassing. Good day for us. Well done. Now go. Again, it's a different kind of hard. It's very, it's very difficult, but it's the kind of difficulty I really like. Well, shoot. A great plan with You're up. Uh, I the plane stages, there's always just so much stuff happening all at once. And, like, if you know the exact points to be in any situation, then, yeah, you can do it just fine. But if you're learning the fight, man, it really feels like bullet hell at times. Like, right there! There was, like, pretty much the entire screen was consumed by projectiles of some kind. <laughs> Still nothing. Okay, there we go. All right, this phase, I can deal with the stakes. I can deal with the weird hot dog slaloms. It's hard to deal with both at the same time. Especially since they don't actually alternate. I almost got out of the weird sausage this stage. So the bosses in the rest of the game, their weirdness was justified because, like, the devil gave them crazy powers in exchange for their soul. But they clearly didn't sell their souls now, so are these guys just naturally magical? These are the questions I need to know. Oh, come off it. I I do hate randomly spawning treasure attacks like this one, though. I always enter this phase with one health left. It's very annoying. Okay, the stakes are going in a weird pattern. They norm Oh, I was about to earn the face. A great plan and then some. Gosh darn it, carry. I'm just gonna wait for the dynamite to blow up. Maybe I just need to be more patient. Ah! 
The combination of the weird tar snakes and the weird cow fiend spitting stuff at you. Not fun. Oh, great. Treasure and dynamite at the same time. That's exactly what we need in the world. I don't, I don't really like the idea of two completely different games being together in a randomizer. Like, if you enjoy it, then great, but that doesn't sound appealing to me. Okay, yeah, the stakes seem to be moving in a weird pattern. Like, they move in a loop pattern, but the loop's not consistent. Okay. Prairie dog beef sausages! Oh, what the heck? What the heck? I, uh, talk on it. A uh, gal can enjoy a moment... Can't enjoy a moment's peace without you meddling. That's such a weird final phase. <laughs> wow. Very strange. This also seems like it's a tough level to get all the parries on. You have to hope that the cows in these first phases shoot parryable stuff at you. Take that. <sighs> yeah, that's definitely my least favorite move. If you get unlucky, you're just getting hit. I'm getting a little better at the sausage phase, though. It's all about dealing with the stakes. This is... Okay, this phase is bizarre beyond belief. Darn it! Oh, what the heck? She turns into a tin can. It, ugh. Oh, I'm not even I'm not even good enough at Super Metroid to be able to beat it normally. I can't freaking wall jump up that stupid monkey slope. Like no matter what I do, it just will not work. I can get one, maybe two wall jumps in a row, but after that it's like nope. You're you can't get up higher than that. Maybe the Wii U is not an ideal Just just take me sweet death. Okay, I've had enough of those stupid cows hitting with the spikes. <sighs> if it's not one thing, it's another in this fight. There's too much stuff going on in these airplane battles for the second fight of the DLC. They probably assume that if, you've, if you're playing the DLC, you've beaten the main story, but... Still, it's crazy. And I feel like I'm getting worse at this fight. A brawl is early brewing. And begin. The cactus move is my favorite. It looks crazy. Did I get hit by some in there? I don't think I got hit by some in there.
The DLC seems like it's a World 4 game. It seems harder than... Yeah, I mean, I definitely get that. Hey, I like I like hard. I just wasn't expecting it to get this tough right from the get go. Oh, stupid stakes. Ah. Yeehaw! Not today, Zerg. Yeah, like, look at that! The projectiles took up the whole screen! How could I have avoided that? I probably just need to shrink more and be... Less aggressive. Nope. It's ridiculous. Mugman to the rescue. By rescue, I mean I'm turning you into the police because you you wanted. <laughs> All right, so far so good. Dollar bills are pink! Gotta parry them! Dear lord, dear my lord, my boy! Of course I must. Alright, free HP at the stake form. Feeling good. Darn you, stupid sausage links. Come on. That's what I fought. All right. This last phase seems pretty simple if you just don't get greedy. There we go! Wow, that was almost a perfect one, too. <laughs> the sausages are singing their songs to heaven. Dang! If I hadn't gotten hit at the end there, I would have gotten an A+. Plus. That's fine. It's the S ranks that really matter. You got the Desert Limes! And they shimmy back and forth. I'd love to tell the, t tell the tale of the villainous veggies vanquished. Well, I'm listening... Unless you want me to get the vi villainous veggies back. Gee, I wonder if this is another plane level. Oh, if it isn't a ghost! Shay and Fry! I'm hot on the trail of a mystery, but I'm stumped. That contest of skill, that broken artifact, this eerie graveyard. I've discovered potent astral energy in all these places. There must be an order and method to it. Most likely. Yeah, A rank, I, I will happily take an A rank. Wait. The King's Leap? Hmm. Oh, Your Highness, hello. How are you? Hail ye cups, I bid thee welcome to my floating palace. I am the one true king, the king of games. From afar I have seen you battle with zeal and aplomb, and lo, I grant thee a place in my royal tourney. In these bouts, your weapons and charms shan't be of use. 
You'll have to find different means to best my champions. From victories, riches, now move into the fray with haste. Oh, I love that. Fa la 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 la. Hey, it's all these pawns. They're booing me. All these stupid headless pawns are going out. Knockout! Aha! Oh wait, that was it. I thought there was going to be way more rounds than that. You dispatched that champion in so few rounds, Brave Cup. Thy reward, wealth untold! Ooh, two dollars! I love that! Furthermore, I permit the special entry to the next match. Alright, let's see. The next round's probably going to be a lot harder. Oh, hey, it's, it's Horsey the Knight! Okay, I'm a little... Oh. Okay, yeah, maybe, maybe, Artie, maybe you... Okay. A W for me and an L for you! <laughs> Okay, let, let's actually be smart about this. So, if he has the sword on top of his head... keeps beckoning me, but I don't have a weapon. Do I just wait it out? Yeah, okay, he's interesting. Am I fighting Horus Horse Collar? Perhaps. I was thinking if I could, like, I was wondering if I could dash into his shield and it would be like, oh, hey, you did good. He drops his sword. Okay. That's, he has such a long delay on that attack. This is interesting. I'm going to have to be very careful to find the openings on this. I hate that. Like, it's literally, he's just wasting time when he does this. Stop wasting my time and attack me! I have no idea, I don't know what to do with that attack. This might be easier with Chalice, yeah. Okay, when he does that, I need to quickly jump and parry. I like it when he does that. Okay, well, I don't like it when he does that. Speedrunners, yeah, probably don't do this fight, because I don't think this fight has any... I don't think you get any ingredients for these fights. Hey, bra Hey, Mobius, welcome, welcome. Ow! Oh, I was so busy saying hi to Mobius, I lost track of the battle. I told you I was on vacation. You liar. I'm trying to figure out if when he beckons me I can do something. Feels like it's a waste of time.
Nope, you can't duck under it. I have to jump over it. Stop doing the stupid beckon move. Stop it! What a crud butt. He can't do that with no warning. Oh, well, okay, fair enough. I hate how he can just lunge and kill you. Maybe if he does that stupid beckon move three times in a row, he'll bash afterwards? That's exactly it. Alright, this is gonna take some getting used to. No, he can just do it randomly! After any time he beckons. Yeah, I hate that dash move. It's so hard to dodge. There we go. Oh, but if you but if you can dodge it, you can get free parries on him. A great plan and then some. And begin. Well, you could try it, Mobius. Okay, now I'm actually all about that dash move. That move is going to be the hard one to deal with. Alright, I'm now going to be... Okay, yeah, that move is unfair. It's unfair that he can just dash randomly out of those stupid beckoning things. Alright, the lightning's outside is getting more frequent, so surely that means I'm close to beating him, right? Still have not been able to best him with that move. There we go! Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not Lost Kin levels of unfairness. Just the dash is very, very annoying. <laughs> With a fish valiant victory, I bestow riches upon thee. Is there a shop on this aisle? Because I have this money, but nothing to spend it on. Now away with ye! Uh oh. Oh my gosh, the shop's right over here. Pork Rinds Emporium. What can I buy? Okay, crack shot EXP EXP turret. Straight shot with good damage breaks into weaker aimed projectiles. Interesting. Heart rain, parry for HP, gain one HP on your first, third, and sixth parry. Is that per jump? Or is that period? That's important to know. Converge EX Electro Bolt. Full screen piercing three way shot. Hold the lock button to narrow spread. What? It's very strange. I wish I could test these out. A broken relic, unknown. A simple bobble of unknown origin. 
Twist up, EX, Psycho and Spiral. Fire rapid shot with arced pathway and average damage. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I don't care much for the heart rain. I think I'm going to try... Converge and the twist up. Goodbye. Forky, Sorky, and Morky. <laughs> Eh, por pay, 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 porky pig. An audience at last! The climbing contest medal ceremony is about to begin! Second place! The only thing left to do is get better next year. I may have won, but I don't look down on anyone for trying to compete. Third place? I guess things can only go up from here. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, before I do that, is there is there any hidden coins around here? I feel like there might be, but maybe not. <laughs> All right, Glumstone the Giant in Gnome Way Out. Let's try it. I wonder if this is the first fight you're supposed to do. We'll see. This will get red hot. <laughs> Okay, this is already a weird fight. I remember seeing this one in the trailer. What the heck? What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, the gnomes are like a spike. Ah! He ripped his beard off! Ah, oh, such a delightful treat! I had a hand in your defeat! A brawl is surely brewing. Now go! This is so weird, because I'm on these platforms, but I can fall down into the gnomes below. Geese cross- ah Don't mess with the geese. Thought you were bold, but I am bolder. <laughs> okay, the converge is weird. I think I'm gonna go to. I like roundabout. Let's go to good old roundabout. That's part of the charm. No, oh, stupid geese! <laughs> what the heck is this? He is Willy the Giant. He's pointing on a puppet show. Oh no, the stupid gnomes hit me again. How dare they? Oh wait, no, I, I wanted to switch my equipment. Well, I guess this is one way to switch my equipment. Hmm. Fee fi fo fum. Fee fi fo fum. I don't think Twisted Up is going to be good on this fight. Let's go spread. No way out! Good day for well now go. Roundabout seemed to destroy him in the first phase, so. Okay, geese are coming. Uh. I want to stay invincible. What hit me? I didn't think anything hit me, but okay. Good <laughs> I thought I thought pretty tail. <sighs> ah, Willie the Giant. What a, what a character. I don't know about you guys, but that is definitely the most terrifying attack in the game. <laughs> he has the power of geese on his side. Who can stand against? 
Besides, you know, Jesus. Oh no, I destroyed my parry target. Okay, this phase is actually pretty simple. Except when you just get hit for no reason. There we go! I was wondering when this phase was going to be finished. Uh-oh. Oh no! He ate us! I was not expecting this for a final phase. Oh no, it... He's spitting chicken legs at me. Oh no! Platform below me dis disappeared. Give up on now. Oh, now is my suggestion, lest you give me indigestion. Ah! That was weird. No, 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 not the geese! <laughs> Anything but the geese. Yeah, he can do this move. Okay, well... Unless you get unlucky with the geese spawn, that first phase is quite simple. I hate that, though! I hate how you can just take damage for no reason. It's because one of those guys appears directly underneath you, but the gnomes block your way so you can't see. That, that really stinks. This game seems kind of demented. I mean, the full name is Cuphead Don't Deal With The Devil, so... Demon, demons are a part of the game. No, no, no. Not the geese! Not the geese! I don't know what these gnomes want, but they keep... they keep... annoying me. Yikes! This is not where I expected the fight to go, I must be honest. Oh no, the platform just randomly just dis dis was destroyed. Thanks. Okay. I should be safe from the geese. Look at that smile he had on his face when the geese tried to kill me. What a psychopath. Alright, the gnomes are driving me nuts. They're just like, ah, ha, ha, we're gonna kill you! The, honestly, the giant's not even that big of a deal. It's the freaking geese and the gnomes. That was 
weird. No. All right. The Keebler elves are driving me nuts. They're like, ha ha ha, you have a fireball! Yeah, get out of here, you stupid gnomes. No, the gnomes are invincible. They're just a part of the scenery. I don't know why Willy the Giant's putting on a puppet show in the middle of this battle, but... Oh no! <laughs> that was a closey. <laughs> There's a ton of stuff to parry in here. Oh, that was nearly bad. Oh, I see it. He, oh, the platforms are like little dinosaurs, and he feeds them chicken legs, and then that's when they dis. Oh, okay. I think I finally get the final phase. Oh no! That was nearly bad luck. Thus far, each of these fights seems to have a decent element of random chance. Oh! And I don't like that. So, for example, like, the platforms moving here can really screw you up. Mainly with the geese. Why are the gnomes so happy to be on this stupid giant's beard? I just don't understand. There we go. Acid Pit in the stomach is not instant death, but it will deal damage. And I've just coincidentally, like, always been at 1 HP in the stomach. Once again, going into the stomach with 1 HP. I also don't think the smoke bombs help him out much in this fight. Yeah, so this guy keeps throwing, like, bones and stuff on... Ouch. I freaking hate the gnomes! They can just hit you when they're right next to you. Oh, no you don't.
Oh, I thought I parried that. Alright. This the smoke bomb is not helping me at all. Uh what would help? Pea sugar would probably help. Coffee would also I'll go coffee. A brawl is surely brewing. A I mean, if the gnome is right next to you and then does his quick fireball attack, no, there's not really a way to dodge it. So I guess maybe what I should do, just do is keep away from the gnomes, but sometimes you don't have a whole lot of options. Like, if they're all on the ground like that. Oh, come on, I parried that! A great plan is in, Is he pulling out a bear or a cat? I don't really know. You can Oh wait, you can kill the gnomes. Okay, change of plans, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I was going to say change of plans, but it didn't work out so well. Because I forgot it's such a pain in the butt to aim down. Uh, I feel like he should have gone out of his first phase there. Hopefully we will at the end, but... Okay, that seems like it's a bear. There we go. Once again, 1 HP going into this last phase. <sighs> Alright. I'm still getting used to that last phase. Because the stupid gnomes are being so annoying. Okay, that was a, you can get hit by the geese, or you can get hit by the gnome's fireball. You choose. But you're not avoiding both. Doggone it. I hate it when they spawn right under you. <laughs> Suppose I could try changing on my weapon selection as well. Oh, stupid gnomes. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you, Platform, for moving down. I do appreciate that very much. Doggone it.
Oh, spiked. That was good. Yeah, the higher tier Twitch subs you need to pay a higher price for. I don't know why anyone would do that. Oh, if you pay, like, three times the price, you get one extra emote. It's like, no, I don't want to do that. How is his first phase not over? Thank you. Yeah, honestly, if I fail again, I'm switching up the super move. Because the, the invincibility was nice, but I don't think I need it anymore. Yeah, I always enter the stupid stomach at 1 HP. Chicken legs turn off the platform, but bones make it a parryable. Come on! There we go! Knockout! Shouldn't have swallowed me. Oh, I took too much time on that level. Really? I feel like it did that pretty fast. A minus. That's fine. I'm still in the A category. We got the gnome berries! Ooh, yeah! Oonch, oonch, oonch. Hey, Raid Pirate! Welcome! Yeah, long time no see! How you been, man? The Keen's Leap. Hey, Keen, I'm ready to do more parry challenges. <laughs> that fight was hard to swallow, yes. <laughs> exactly correct. Oh no! I have to face the bishop? Okay, is he gonna, like, you know... Oh, I see. I have to touch the candles to blow them out, and then you can parry the bishop's head. I like how all these fights are based off of chess pieces. That's really cool. Part time for levels is now 210. It isn't gold unless you break the two-minute barrier, but you can still get top rank. That explains it, because there have been times when I've played this where I got over two-minute time on it. It was not gold, but I still got the best possible score from it. And you guys like how the bishop head is only moving diagonally. I'm liking it. I also like how he, he's still he's wearing like the Catholic bishop outfit as well. They did their homework. This seems a lot easier than the horse. Yeah, that was a lot easier than the horse. Wow. <laughs> that was funny. And then again on Zephyr's wings, you flew through that clash. Thy reward, well fun told. Well, I mean, you could tell me about it. Furthermore, I permit the special entry to the next match. Honestly, 
If I had picked up on the fact that extinguishing the candles is what turns him pink, I might have been able to one-shot him. Oh well. So I assume next it's going to be, like, the Rook? A great slam and then some. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's throwing Mary Antoinette's heads. Oh, this is nasty. You gotta continuously parry this across the room. So it crashes into his foot. Beating you is pretty straightforward. Ugh. This match will get red hot. Now go! He keeps sharpening his axe. Oh, now he's shooting sparks at me. Well, that's not a very nice thing to do. Oh, I thought that was a woman singing. No, it's just a trombone. Jeez, this guy's tough! Good game for us. Well battled. Here goes. It's definitely a unique parry challenge. Oh, come on, hit it. Yes! Okay, that was really slick. Ouch. What the heck? That didn't even bounce up at all. I really wish I could have my pea sugar. Oh man, he was a... Okay, so he doesn't have a lot of HP. Again, parrying stuff that's directly above you is very difficult. Stop lobbing them all the way across the room, man! No! Oh, I'm getting pretty close. Why is it, like, freaking impossible to parry something right above you? Like, it can't be done. You just jump right into it. Doesn't matter how fast you mash the A button. Like, look at that. I was literally mashing the A button and just nothing happened. Okay, well, that looked cool, but... That actually didn't do anything. All flash, no substance. Now he keeps lobbing them, like, all the way across the room. I don't like it. Come on, alright, he's gotta be almost finished now. One more hit, maybe? With the sparks, he's going full Iceman mode now, so I would assume one more hit will do it. 
There we go. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I know a lot of people are mainly interested in my streams for the Backyard Baseball. Don't worry. Season 4 will be coming out in September at the absolute latest. May, potentially even a few weeks from now. With this Valiant Victory episode, Rich is on to the... And now we're away with ye. Cool. I can buy another thing from the shop. Welcome. I'll buy the crack shot. Goodbye. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. Backyard baseball is so fun to stream. All right. Oh, wait, he's here as well. Hey, Kane, if you want to give me more money, then sure. All right, now we're fighting the queen, I assume? There she is. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Oh, so you gotta aim the cannons properly? Interesting. Oh, this is gonna be a tough fight. Too little, too late, I dare say that's checkmate. Remember, the queen is the strongest piece in chess, so maybe the king will be a joke. Oh my gosh, my stupid antivirus software tried to screw me up. It just popped up, and when it pops up, it cancels out the window, and nothing happens. Uh -oh. No! Wow, I actually got her really close. This map will get red hot. I'll have to brainstorm some ideas for the custom character, if I have one. Arthur was a big success last year, but can we really top Arthur? I could, uh, come on! He will not parry the fu freaking fuse! See what I mean when I say you you can't parry stuff that is directly above you? It's highly irritating. This fight's kind of crazy. I like this fight in theory, I just hate the parrying mechanic sometimes. Parrying is great when it works, and it stinks when it doesn't. This has been Artie's TED Talk. Okay, these cannonballs should be hitting her. I don't know why they're phasing through her. Probably because she's at 1 HP and the game really wants me to die. Yeah, I think she actually was at 1 HP. No, TED Talks. Man, what I wouldn't give for pea sugar in this fight. At least she's got the fancy regal music. Have you, are you not familiar with TED Talks? Technology and design? They're like internet videos of people giving talks about basically any subject you can think of. 
There's some really good ones. And some really bad ones. One of my personal favorites is a guy, like a British guy, who's telling stories about how he scammed scam callers. If you could hit the fuses on the way up, that would be very f fantastic. Feels like the longer the fight goes on, the harder it is for the cannonballs to hit her. There we go! Hit achievement unlocked! Checkmate! Thanks, Mice, for helping out. Whew. The parry fights are definitely made for Mrs. Chalice. Well, I don't care, I'm beating it the regular way. Hark to my new champions, the remaining spoils! I was wondering if I was going to hit, uh, fight him. And with that, the tournament has concluded. Henceforth, my castle shall remain a training ground for thee. Fare thee well, champions. <laughs> oh boy, it's Mortimer Freeze and Snow Colt Scuffle. Oh boy, Mortimer Mouse. R.S., were you not even paying attention? Miss Chalice was the lady they sang a song about. Oh my gosh, it's the Ice King from Adventure Time. But fancy. Oh, that's right. I'm like, when is the parry stuff gonna happen? Artie, this is a fight where you actually can use your weapons. Bro, leave the whale shark alone. <laughs> All the weird snow people who are watching. He's like the Ice King meets the weird bard from Harvest Moon, It's a Wonderful Life. Oh no! It's the Abominable Snowman! That's okay, I've beaten Bleak from Donkey Kong Country Free, so I'm not worried. Maybe I'm a little worried. Iced already? Where puny cups go? Okay, let's see. I like the pea sugar. Pea sugar is like my new favorite thing. Uh, let's try Crack Shot! And twist up seems like it's gonna be great for the beginning. Good game for us. Well battled. Here goes. I just realized this attack is literally Airman's air shooter from Mega Man Two. Well, this seems a bit disappointing. It, like, this fight, it seems like the Cyclone would be made for this fight, but it keeps whiffing him. You have to be the perfect distance away. It's kind of like the lob. Wow! Neither of these weapons seems particularly great. I definitely was holding the right, so I don't know why he didn't let me... Alright, whatever. Let's go Radical Barrier. And, of course, I do like me the spread. Let's go Energy Beam. Here's a real high-class belt. You're up! Okay, I think you can only hit him in the face. Or maybe you can only hit him in the butt.
Okay. Ooh, the double freezy pop. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to come back, bro. It's Aurora Bore all over for you. Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the whale. Wow, thank goodness there was enough space for me to avoid that. Ouch! No fair. <laughs> That's not fair. Mommy! That is so bizarre. That's my favorite of his attacks. He just pulls a whale shark out of nowhere to slam the, me with it. Everyone's like, oh yay! Frosty the Snowman's arrived! Oh, I see. Get it? I see? Oh no! Ah! No fair! I wasn't expecting an auto scroller, especially one that just kills you because it's like I'm on solid ground. No, but you're off screen, so you die. It's like that doesn't make sense. That's why I hate auto scrollers. It's like, oh, you are not visible on the plane that we can see, therefore you die. It's like, no, I'm very clearly not dead. Nope. If you're not on screen, you're dead. So maybe you should just have a better camera. Get out of my way, freezy pops. It's just not true, though, because enemies can be perfectly fine off-screen as well. Unless you're playing old-timey NES games, which this is not. Okay. Hey there, Snowball. I pointed that out as soon as the battle began. Was that this guy was the Ice King from Adventure Time? Like literally, for literally first thing out of my mouth. Not a fan of how tiny this the hitbox on this guy is. Okay. This actually might be around where smoke bomb will be very useful. Of course, like I always default to snow to smoke bomb, and then the one time I don't, it's like, well, that's the one time that it's actually useful. on you. He's like, I know you're going to have to parry that, so I'll just jump right into you. 
Alright, here we go. Darn it, I wasted it. Oh, no! Okay. Yeah, we're going smoke bomb. And I don't like spread shot for this situation, so maybe we'll go... Roundabout! A great plan and then Oh, actually, I have a better idea. For when I inevitably die again. Alright, here we go. Aurora Borealis form! Ouch. No! Gone you. Alright. We're actually going chaser. Normally a bad weapon, but... For this first phase, I think it'll be quite useful. Provided they don't all lock on to the generic enemies. Which, of course, they are. Come on, really? I like the snow transformations here, like into the freezer and all that. No, the freaking freezy pop. All right. Yeah, we're going spread. And actually, of course, now that I take off pea sugar, it's like, no, now in this new form, you need pea sugar. Don't I just figure? Okay, those guys have too much HP. Alright, here we go. Here we go. That's not what I wanted to do. No, I dashed the other way. A great slam and then stop. Well then, don't. Nobody's asking you to. I don't... Uh. This first phase is not even difficult, but man, is it annoying, because the, the actual spot that will, uh, will damage him is really, really tiny. And the stupid little generic enemy guys have way more HP than they have any right to. Like, they have almost as much HP as he does.
the? Haven't seen this attack yet. Ah, oh, what the heck? He just made a roller coaster out of a ghost. Oh man, I was getting close to the end. Okay, those stupid freezy pops are being super annoying. They're just always in the way to to absorb the charge shots for him. He has a bunch of different moves, apparently. Uh-oh. Oh, come off it! Alright. Not again. Here's a real high-class bout. Here goes! This guy shouldn't even be that hard. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with him. It, okay, it literally never fails. I take off pea sugar. It's like, oh, you should have pea sugar on. I put it on. It's like, oh, but that's useless now. Like, have you noticed that ever since I equipped the pea sugar, he's no longer doing that one attack that would really help to have pea sugar for? No, now he's just shooting his eyeballs and electrocuting me. Don't hit me. Yay. Okay, thank goodness. Alright, 2 HP for Aurora Borealis. Uh oh. Achievement unlocked the hi hat. Oh, he he's just like, oh, it's cold now. Oh, I didn't do well on the super meter though. B plus no! My first grade that's not in the A rank realm. And we get the icy sugar cubes. Was that the last battle? Because I got an achievement for beating that. No, there's a plane over here. Okay, so what is this guy saying? See, I'm stumped. The contest of skill, the broken artifact. This. Okay. So I need the broken artifact in order to go through there. And then we got the howling aces in dog on dog fight. Oh boy. Let's go airplane. This match will get red. So, it's an airplane round, but we're not actually 
in the airplane. Sure, because why that? I mean, I guess the guy who taught us how to... What the heck? You can't use Tom from Tom and Jerry like that. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were a top dog, but you never had a sniff. This is, uh, very strange. I'm fighting the airplane, just not as an airplane. That's very, very weird. Can't say I agree with that. This is my... Maybe this is one where the cyclone will do well. Go giant ghost. I think pea sugar will be fine. A great oh my gosh. Such a fabulous, uh, dog. Okay, I gotta duck underneath the stuff that Tom spits at me. Is that crazy bus going on in the background? I'm sorry, did you just hit hit me with your butt? That's rude. A great <laughs> okay, duck underneath all of that. I feel like the site, the air shooter attack should be better than it actually is. Much like the real air shooter. The fire hydrant's getting a little close. Yuck! Oh my gosh. They're making the generic, uh, dog stock sound effects from Putt-Putt. Alright, well that phase was easy. Uh-oh. Ow! Where am I supposed to hit him? Looks like your skills have gone AWOL, flea bags. Wow. Rude. Okay. Man, the twist-up sucks! It's so... It's so weird. It's so hard... It's so awkward to hit people with. Even more so than the lobber. And the lobber is also not a very good one. Alright. Well... Hmm. Let's try the coverage. A great on you. Get it. Uh, I hate the fire hydrants. Thankfully, I can bowl them up. What am I supposed to be attacking? Oh, I'm supposed to attack the guns. That's crazy. That's actually nuts. Okay. Remember, the boomerangs have to come back. Oh, no, you don't. Not with those fire hydrants. Wow. 
That, uh, that super art is so awkward to use. We're going invulnerability. And also, I'm going to go chaser for that last phase. A great It's okay, guys. He has a parachute, so he's f perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> this is very, very weird. Uh, come on. <sighs> this game... Okay, I don't know if it's my controller, but this... One way or another, it keeps forcing me into the wrong direction when I'm telling it to face the other way. Okay. Nope. 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 Oh, I hate this! Oh, I hate this! My controls are still weird. Oh, what the heck? This is so not fair! That is the worst. That is actually the worst. Your controls get so screwed up when you do that. Like, the screen tilts sideways, but you still have... But, like, if you use left on the control stick, it makes you move down. That's actual hot garbage. Okay, I'm saving invulnerability for that. Because there doesn't seem to be any other way of dealing with that. Nope. Controls are not reversed. It's worse than that. Controls are rotated. So, push, like I said, pushing left makes you go down. Like, I can deal with control reverse. But if you're, if you're like... If you're rotating the controls, that, like the Rambling Evil Mushroom from Earthbound, I cannot deal with that. It's also bad when you're holding straight up and it makes you move diagonally because it because you're apparently not holding it straight up. But at least that part it it seems like at that part you don't have to move if you're in one place as long as your control stick doesn't screw you over by being like, "Oh, you're not holding it absolutely perfectly straight. Therefore, you're going to move at a diagonal." 
and run right off the plane. Here's a real high-class bout. Here goes. Gravity Man stage, at least the enemy placement is very simple. And also, it's Mega Man 5, so lives drop like candy. I can already tell this round is going to be such a pain in the butt to S rank. But what the heck? I got him to 0 HP, but he still did another move afterwards. It takes a very, very evil giddy video game designer to make the whole you push down to go left nonsense. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to go to avoid those. This is the worst. This is hard enough even if your controls weren't doing stupid things like this. Like, they didn't need to do this, they just are doing that to rub salt in the wound. What ingredient could these guys possibly be dumb? Be hiding. Charge dog on you. That was a close one. Yep, that's awful. That's freaking awful. A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. Okay, that's not fair. If the if the fire hydrant goes at the same time that he's doing the yarn ball attack, then like, well, you're getting hit by one of them. Again, I have no idea. So, look, one of those, some of those laser patterns, I just don't see a way to dodge it. Now watch, it's gonna go to the. <sighs> what the? 
Okay, now, now the controls are just screwed up to no end. I literally, no matter which direction I pushed, it would not make me go up. Every other direction would make me go down. I hate this. Yeah, honest... Chaser might be... Chaser might be warranted here. No! Stupid refrigerator magnet letters. Fire Hydrant at least dies in one single chaser blast, so that's really nice. Okay, now the controls are... Oh, that's evil! You can't put a, a laser there as... What? No matter which direct. Okay, no matter which direction on the control stick I pushed, none of them would make him aim towards the guy. So I guess I literally have to change the chaser there. That chaser is the only way you can damage him in that phase. At least at, during that particular part, because I pushed every single direction on the control stick, and none of them made me point towards him. On top of him throwing dog dishes at me. And my other controls being screwed up as well. Okay, nope. That's, that's an automatic... D-pad is for losers. You're not using the D-pad. They wouldn't have made the game if it was impossible. Duh. Okay, really? I I freaking hit that with the chaser. It didn't touch me. Such a shame, because this actually could have been a fun fight were it not for the stupid control mix-up. I don't like gimmicky fights, and this is definitely a very gimmicky fight.
Okay. I, you guys all saw me hit that fire hydrant multiple times, and it did not be destroyed. Here's a real high doesn't help that my little airplane buddy seems to be doing me just as much harm as... Okay, I ducked! I feel like once the fire hydrants and the green balls are going, if your plane guy just decides to be a stupid idiot flying, you're getting hit by one of those. Because you have, like, no room to work with on this airplane. You just have to hope he's not going to be a horrible little goon. What am I supposed to do if I can't shoot at him? Or move, for that matter, without moving off a cliff? There's no way I can get a second invincibility up by that time, and I need my first one to get for that first stupid, unfair control reversing section. I have to go into that last section with full HP, because you're going to get hit. I think this fight alone is making me not want to S-rank this the DLC. This fight would be actual torture to try to get an S-rank on. At least Pea Shooter is helping me out in this fight.
I'm not. I'm just not allowed to breach this part of the fight at full HP. the one. No. The Duff Freezer! I hate this fight. I watch. I was, yep, I was right next to the end. <sighs> yeah, this, this fight, the first two parts are fine. That last part is completely not fun in any way. And of course, it's the last part of the fight that's not fun, so, like, every time you fail at it, you have to do the entire rest of the fight again. Funny how that always happens. That appeared out of absolutely nowhere. I supposed to how was I possibly supposed to avoid that the stupid plane was in the corner and no matter what I did I would have gotten hit by a stupid dog dish a great I shudder to see, uh, think what the fight would be like on expert mode. I don't even want to find out. I hate the freaking plane. Uh, not always it doesn't. Not always it doesn't. Oftentimes it does, but not always. It really has a mind of its own. For example, many times in that last phase when it goes sideways, I doesn't really matter where I stand. The plane just kind of sits there at, at the corner. How did that not auto parry? It's bull. That when there is a when there's a furred gun that appears there, that is such horse baloney. 
Okay. If I can survive. It's a big if. Die, you stupid dog! Get out of here! Oh my gosh, I never want to do that fight again. See, I, I praise Cuphead for having boss fights that are hard for the right reasons. That boss fight was hard for the wrong reasons. That boss fight would have been, honestly, kind of a cinch were it not for the stupid gravity screw. We get the pineapple mint. Don't ask how that relates to dogs whatsoever, but it does. We did it! That was the last ingredient we needed for the wonders tart! Let's get back to the salt baker! Lickety split! Okay, there's gotta be a coin hidden around here somewhere for me to pick up. Because I need one more coin to buy everything at the store. I'd sure love to tell the tale. Then do it! No one's stopping you. Extra, extra, Chef Saltbaker award. Oh, yeah. Uh, he already gave me the money. Oh, maybe it's in the well? Maybe, but Cactus Girl's doing nothing about it. Oh, hey. The King's Leap. Maybe King has it still. Welcome back, my champions. My subjects remain at the ready for a spirited match. The Gauntlet. Oh, no. Do I have to face all of them in a row? Such bravery thou shalt face all challenges in sequence. Does that? Maybe that'll give us the last coin. Love the 3D effect here. Well, this is almost certainly going to... I'm almost certainly going to regret this. Thanks for jumping when I said to jump. I appreciate it. Wow! How many controller inputs did that drop? At least three. Oh, I wanted to just quit to the island, actually. Not quit the game entirely. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not attempting the gauntlet again. No siree. I will let you know when I know. I fly by the seat of my pants when I stream all the time. Surely you know this by now. Oh ho! Oh ho! Aha! Secret passageway! That's just a rule of thumb. I will let you know when I'm streaming when I know. Otherwise, I don't know, so there's no point in asking me. It's by the Heart Rain and the Broken Relic. Why did it bring me back here? Alright, let's go to the graveyard. Station mode fry, okay. The Contest of Skill, The Broken Artifact, This Eerie Graveyard. Okay, Contest of Skill is referring to the airship. 
with the cane on it. So maybe there's a hint on the cane's airship. So there's that set of nine gravestones. Maybe there's a clue here somewhere. That, I mean, again, that would be best. Because if you ask me what I'm streaming, you either already should know because I've posted it, or I haven't announced it yet because I don't figure it out, and the answer is going to be, I don't know. You're going to get the same answer every single time. Alright, maybe... Alright. I'm not seeing any hints around here. Hmm. You, I'm guessing you gotta walk around a specific set of gravestones in an order. I'm a pretty impulsive guy, so I generally... You, like you saw! <laughs> Where I'm like, I know what I'm going to be streaming. Actually, no, I changed my mind last second. I'm streaming this instead. So we could put, I want to stream things that I feel like playing at the moment. So if I'm like, you know, I'm going to stream an Ocarina of Time Randomizer. If I'm not feeling like playing Ocarina of Time Randomizer, then I don't want to play Ocarina of Time Randomizer, so I'm not going to play it. I'm going to do something else. <laughs> Alright, let's see... <gasps> Peekaboo! Interesting. Okay. So ghosts can pop out of these graves. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'm just being a pinhead and I'm missing something obvious. Okay, so the pawn is number one. The knight is number two. The pawn is... All of these seem cracked. How about the bishop? Is the bishop cracked as well? Yeah, all of these are cracked, but I think that's just because I've beaten them already. Maybe there are certain tombstones that look like chess pieces? I don't know, though. Alright, Mr. Keen. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so I have to do free guesses. So number three corresponds to the bishop. So maybe it's like the bishop's hat? No. Oh, maybe it's the ones that are... None of these really look like a pawn. I mean, if anyone has any guesses, I'm open, because I'm stumped right now. Hmm... 
think it's referring to where the fiends he mentioned are located on the island. But the Keen's airship can appear pretty much anywhere. So that contest of skill, the broken artifact, it's okay. Skill, the contest of skill right now is over here. That's where the broken artifact was, and the graveyard is in... Well, I have the broken artifact in my hand. Huh. I honestly might just look it up, because... I don't know why I am so bad at puzzles like these. Because I when, when he was talking about those free hints, I assumed broken artifact is what I have in my hand. I'm guessing that this will fix the broken artifact. The graveyard is obviously where we need to perform this code, and then I assume the test of skill is what gives us the code to him. I don't know. No, I'm looking this up. Screw this. I'm, <laughs> I'm not puzzling over this forever. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. So apparently... So I didn't look up the actual order, but... The one thing that the walker said is that the test of skill is these free NPCs over here, not the king. Second place, only thing left to do is get better for next year. So something on the left. Okay. They have one that he doesn't look down on anyone. And third place, nowhere to go but up. So first place is... Talk about he doesn't look down. Second place was left. Third place was up. So down, left, up. But... Okay, so first place he goes down. Left. There we go. Take a little nap? Sure. What could go wrong? Now I know why I was so confused. I was looking in the wrong place. Um, what? What the heck is this? Oh, I don't like this already. <laughs> What is this? Wish you may, wish you might. Your soul is now trapped in the night. What the heck? Here's a real high class battle. And he is. So obviously I want to kill the devil, but... What the... How the heck are you supposed to get through this? Here's a real high class battle. Here goes. They shoot stuff too quickly. Okay, we are equipping Smoke Bomb. We have Invincibility. That, yeah, well, okay. Here's a real high-class bout. Now go! Okay, so each time you turn around, it swaps which, who is who. So the Angel will not actually be able to hit you with stuff. So as you can see, the angel, he's spitting, like, fireballs, but they don't actually damage. 
Oh, I see. Oh, this is crazy. So you have to strategically turn around to make their attacks. This match will get red hot. This is crazy. Oh, I hate this. I mean, I kind of like this, but I also hate this. Yuck. And something tells me there's going to be more than one phase. The progress map shows there's only one phase, but I don't know if I really trust it. This is wrinkling my brain, yo! No! Ah! That moving platform sucks. I almost got halfway, though. A great slam and yep, you're always facing the demon. Guardian Angel is always on your shoulder, though, I guess. This, this is messing with my brain big time. Good lord! I honestly feel like this wouldn't be that bad if it weren't for this stupid platform that keeps moving. Because there's lightning underneath it, you basically have to stand on it. Which means it's, it's pushing you around constantly, which makes the at attacks even more annoying to dodge. Constantly making me change direction when I do my dash. I need to take advantage of the fact that Smoke Bomb can get me through those flame pillars without needing to turn around. Like that. Yikes. Yep. This one's not nice. Not nice at all. I can't imagine trying to attempt this without Smoke Bomb. Darn it, I got... I got pretty close. I got, like, two-thirds of the way there. Here's a real high 
If there's another phase in this fight, that's gonna suck. They just, they never, ever stop attacking. A brawl is surely brewing. It's on. The devil is really, really mad that we defeated him in the main story. I don't think my brain is physically capable of handling this fight. Yeah, like, my mind can't comprehend this fight with, like, changing around, turning around, changing the projectiles that are on. Uh, like, no, I can't do that. It, like, for the same reason, I can't play the piano. My hands cannot do different things on the keyboard. My brain can't comprehend some projectiles being volatile and some not. I basically just have to smoke bomb through everything and hope that I get to the end. It doesn't help that this fight is so fast-paced, like, there's no way my reflexes could even be good enough. This match will get red hot. It's on. And I only- I tell you what I know. I tell you what I know and what I'm willing to tell. Like, I don't hide things on purpose. Fine, I don't hide things for no reason. It feels like this fight there are a very large amount of no-win situations that you end up in, where it's like, well, no matter which direction you're facing, you're going to take a hit. <laughs> like right there, where they if they both shoot a fireball in the same spot. So maybe don't hang out in the dead center. Perhaps that's the key. Uh, get back! Dark on you!
Não! No! Doggone it! Why wouldn't you shoot diagonally, you goon? A brawl is surely brewing. And begin! I wonder if on expert mode it's the guy who's always that. I was going to say on expert mode, I wonder if it's like whoever you're facing away from is the devil. But then you wouldn't really be able to shoot them without the roundabout or the chaser. Speaking of which, maybe I should start using the chaser a bit more. If they do that, again, I don't even really want to play expert on this anyways, just because of that stupid dogfight, but... Thanks for dashing in the direction that I didn't tell you to be facing in. You are the best, Mugman. This is regular difficulty. Expert mode would be a lot harder. I feel so often I jump, shoot them, and then by the time I'm landing, there's a fireball right beneath me. It wasn't there when I started the jump, but it's there at the end of it. Smoke bomb for all you do. Yeah, if, th if this is more than one phase. I'll just tell you this right now. I will not be streaming Cuphead DLC Expert Mode. I may do it casually off stream very, very gradually and very, very slowly. I'm not streaming it. No way, no how. How would this fight work on multiplayer? Because you got two people. Would it be like the devil is always who player one is facing? If so, that could screw up player two bad. Uh, 
Also, you gotta love how I've never even once gotten my super art. This fight, man. This freaking fight. I'm not quick enough to be able to react in time. Sorry, but not everybody is not everybody is a TAS. The fact that you can't parry the fireballs unless you're facing the guy who shot them, that really screws me up. Because so often I have to change, turn around in midair to catch the parry, and doing so makes the parry of Olfain disappear. Oh, I got so close that time. I got three quarters of the way there. I feel like if I can get far enough alone that I can use my invulnerability super art, then I might be golden. I wonder. I have a new idea. What if I literally just keep doing this? Actually worked surprisingly well. Okay. New strategy. Blast him from the bottom. Go over to the other one. Blast them. Go to the other side. Go to the other side. Blast them. Go to the other side. Blast them. Not to say this is foolproof, but it's dev Oh, you can fall off the edge. That... Okay, you know, that okay, actually... That kind of seems to be the... Okay, well, if, if Mugman stops being a goon, and if my controller starts working properly, then I think this is the way to do it. Oh yeah, this is this is kind of totally the way to do it. Yes! Wow! Okay, that's the strategy to do it. Right there. <laughs> Don't even bother doing things in the air. Could it be? The fabled cursed relic long thought lost to be time awoken at last? I've seen writings that say it despises bravery. With a greater foe, more evil shall go. What could it mean? I don't know, but I don't care. Where you keep your underwear. Hopefully in a dresser. Wait, the achievement was a horrible night to have a curse? Oh, that's fantastic. Castlevania reference. Let's go back to Salt Baker's Bakery. And this is where Salt Baker takes our ingredients and turns into the final boss, right? That's, a full, that's fully what I'm expecting. I knew there was something up with the freaking salt shaker. 
He has this creepy basement. I knew it! Look at that creepy shadow. Welcome back, you meddlesome brats! I didn't think you'd be back so soon. No matter, it's too late to stop me now. The Wonder Tart will be my finest work yet! A shame I never told you about the most important secret ingredient. Is it whatever liquid is in our cups? A living soul! While you suckers were out doing my bidding, I nabbed your little friend here. When her past soul is baked into the Wonder Tart, the cosmic powers of the Astral Plane will be mine! Cuphead! Mugman! You gotta save me! But first, I'll take those ingredients, and then I'll use your heads as serving dishes. I knew I didn't trust that stupid salt shaker. Good day for us. Well done. And begin. All right. Oh, menacing. Okay. Oh no, he's throwing limes and kiwis at us. Is that a piece of poo? No. Marinate your defeat while I complete this astral treat. I, I don't think the broken charm is fixed, no. Oh, wait. Cursed Relic, Burden's Host. Jinxed Curio that inflicts various status ailments. That sounds bad. Sounds like if you want to make the game harder. Nah, we'll keep Smoke Bomb. Go to Spread, though. Oh, I love the organ music. No! Mr. Sugar Cube, how could you? Jeez, this guy is creepy. <laughs> Good day for us. Well done. You're up. Never trust the guy who asks you to get all of this special magical stuff for. Never. Oh no, not the magical gingerbread cookies. Oh no, he's got the animal crackers on his side! Yeah, did you want the fights to be even harder? Well, now you can! I wonder if I, if I could take that charm into the, the non-DLC fights, I actually might try that out. Ex unless, by random status effects, it might be like, you want that stupid anti-gravity control reversing stuff in every boss fight? Now you can have it. This is a boss final fight, though. Get it. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's the hardest part about Cuphead. <laughs> Focusing on what you need to do because it's so pretty. This organ music is phenomenal. I wonder if we use the charm to turn into Mrs. Chalice. I wonder if that would make the soul trapped in the background change to, like, Mugman or whoever. I hate that little orange guy on the ceiling. He's so annoying. Ouch! I'll get the pattern eventually. No! Not the strawberry basket! You made him cry! Good lord! There's too much stuff! <laughs> and this is only phase one of like four. So we'll be seeing this phase quite a bit. Alright, you doofus with boofus. Man, he made those animal crackers fast! You 
think the strawberry baskets would stop running past after getting the hint. I think I got him pretty close. Oh yeah, I w Oh my gosh, he was right about to go to his second phase. I feel like there's always something that's right in your way. Either a lime slice or the stupid yellow gooey thing or a sugar cube. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm surprised there wasn't a single new running gun stage. I'm not particularly complaining, because I definitely prefer the boss fights to the running gun stages, but it just seems like something I would expect. Of course my invulnerability ran out right... Okay, here he goes. Ooh! Oh, shoot! Uh-oh. You gotta beat him up with the salt chickens. <gasps> my power grows with much aplomb. Your end is here upon my palm. It's impossible to compare the two. Bear storming is hard because of the really, really, really awful controls and the sadistic difficulty. It's two completely different games. Why do lime slices deal damage? A great That's what I'd like to know. Okay, you gotta jump so you avoid multiple lime slices of a single jump. I wonder... Darn it. Keen Dice had a similar smile to that. One animal cracker. Hey, Dear Lord. You're up. Well, he's supposed to be going like crazy with power at this point, so. I'd honestly be a bit disappointed if he didn't have a crazy smile. Rats. Darn you. Here's 
Here we go. Back, back again. So we gotta hit the pepper. Oh no, not the leaves. Oh man, I got him more than halfway. He has two phases after that, though. Yikes! A great, slam and <laughs> great shades of wood. Oh no, not wood, man. I always hear people talking about Quick Man. Nobody ever talks about Wood Man, who's arguably one of the tougher robot masters in that game. Woodman or Quick Man is a harder stage, but I'd say Woodman might be a tougher fight. Because at least Quick Man goes down to like. He takes two damage per Buster Shot. Good game for well Here goes. There's too much stuff! You got strawberries, sugar cubes, that weird... I don't under... That golden vein... Whatever that is, like a honey... I don't know what it is, but it's too much. It never leaves the screen. Yeah, animal crack... Like... Good lord, like... You can keep three of the projectiles. You cannot keep all five. You're up. Again, I feel like there is always a projectile in the way of exactly where you want to go. Well, the chef's also not affiliated with Disney in any way, shape, or form. they're not flying at his face when I'm shooting them. I don't understand. I'm even shooting them while they're going, ah, choo! This is definitely a difficult final fight. Every every time every time my invincibility wears off, the instant it wears off, it's like you got hit. Like, right there. No matter which way I went, I would have gotten hit. 
And again, it's, it's another one of those fights. It feels like there are so many no-win situations. Also, come on, you're, you really, you're taking damage from animal crackers and limes? Really? They're not even, like, sharp limes. They're literally just limes. And uh, he still has two more forms that I have no idea what they are. Come on! That stupid glob of golden nothing! Why is that even here? It doesn't even make sense in the context of the fight, and it never freaking leaves. It, okay, it's, it's, bur it's a candle flame. It still doesn't make sense why it's here. Or why it's just bouncing around all on its own. You might be thinking, like, come on, Artie, it's one thing. It's one thing in addition to the 90 other things on screen. Oh, fantastic. Invincible while he's making cookies, just like I am. Phase two. Oh, of course, I take damage from the stupid flame again. Yes. Oh boy, a leaf hit me. Yes, my favorite. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so I think you need to shoot the, the pepper shakers when they are not sneezing in order to make them smack him for some reason. Thanks for making me dash in again the wrong direction. It honestly is the lime attack that's the worst of them all. The limes are freaking relentless.
Never mind, I have absolutely no idea what triggers if they hit him or not. Is it just completely random if you shoot them and then they smack him in the face? Because I've hit them at every single possible time and there seems to be no rhyme or reason whether they smack him or not. This fight's annoying. <sighs> Once again, made me dash in the wrong direction. This fight feels like they went completely overboard with the amount of projectiles that are on screen at once. Like, if you had to deal with just one at a time, fine. Two at a time, even then, maybe. No, you always have to deal with three of them at a time. Also, his hitbox is not as big as you might think. He's huge, but you can only hit him in a very small part of his face. No oh, freaking A. Ah, that phase just never seems to end. One charge shot and one uncharged is enough. Oh, is that it? I was starting to wonder if the Pepper Shakers had invincibility frames shortly after they were uh, uh, spawned in. Oh, I parried that, though. It seems you're right, though. Hey, Jay, welcome. We are on the final boss of the Cuphead DLC. I assume this is the final boss. I totally called this guy was going to turn out to be evil. Darn it! Stupid freaking... There's too much stuff? There's freaking... Also, can you imagine how impossible this fight would be if you didn't use Smoke Bomb? Smoke Bomb's the only thing that can actually help me get through this first phase. Oh, 
Maybe this will be one of those fights again where, like, I'll later go back and be like, oh, there's actually a very consistent way of getting through this first phase. But right now, I'm not seeing it. Right now, I'm just seeing there's 800 projectiles on screen at once. Good luck. Not helping matters is my controller's not really cooperating with me. I swear the line spawn in exactly where you're heading. I hate. Well, I mean, there are parts of this fight I really like. I love the music. I love the des overall design of this fight. I just hate how many projectiles they make you face on regular difficulty. Expert mode is going to be even harder. Like, if this were expert mode, maybe I could understand, but no. Th this is regular mode? You've got to be kidding me. Stupid li limes always come out of nowhere. Maybe you're supposed to beat this guy as Chalice with her invulnerability roll. Yeah, may maybe they maybe they made these fights balanced for the Chalice and not for Cuphead Mugman. For me, the Devil was the perfect difficulty. Like he was exactly the kind of difficulty I wanted the Devil to be. Super duper hard, very difficult to S rank, but very rarely did he feel unfair. Corn the leaves and the flame all together, man. I'm not ending the stream till I beat this guy. It's the weekend. If I can stay up late if I need to. I ain't doing a separate stream just for this guy. No way, no how. Who would have thought the nastiest move in the game is cutting up limes? Good lord! When those limes get chopped, you are taking damage. I 
I dashed. I don't know why it's not making me dash. Watch this fight literally be like, oh, uh, well, yeah, obviously, if you're playing as Cuphead and Mugman, this fight's, like, impossible. You're supposed to play as Chalice. This fight was only balanced for Chalice. Because they added Chalice to the DLC, it, they may very well have done that, honestly. I am surprised I weaved for that gauntlet. Those leaves stay around forever. Like, that leaf was on the ground for a full five seconds and it didn't disappear. And what's annoying is he has two phases after this I haven't even seen! The first two are just that brutal. Tell Woodman I don't want his regards. There we go! Uh-oh, now so his, his shaker's broken. Oh, really? You're okay, well that's- you don't even give me a warning that that's falling down. Your futile efforts will invade, this world will be my salt domain. By the time I saw he was falling, it was too late to react. Oh. Okay, this first phase is going a lot better now. Oh wow, I could have saved that. Alright, well my older strategy for this worked really well. Just destroy them as soon as they appear on screen. Okay, here we go! <laughs> Alright, which side is he gonna show up on first now? Oh, of course, the new side that I was not the one on last time. Okay, well, this phase seems pretty easy if you have Smoke Bomb. Maybe I spoke too soon. Whoa, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, really? 
No! Oh, great. I hate... I hate auto-scrollers. I don't like vertical auto-scrollers. So, yeah, of course you make the final face of the final boss a vertical auto-scroller. What dumb. The bark of my solidity shall scar thy fired glaze. Good game. We'll see about that chef. I wish I knew how I got through his first phase without taking damage. That would have been nice to know. I don't know if I just got lucky or if I actually figured out something. You, there's too much stuff. There's too much stuff. Just like Madame Blueberry learned. The game lagged and is making my charger take so long to charge up. Darn you, I should not have parried that. If the game lags, that actually really sucks because it screws up the timing for the charger. What? How did I not jump over the flame? Alright, here we go. At least I now know what to expect. Um, I don't think he hit me. I definitely don't think he hit me there, but alright, whatever. <sighs> you gotta love it when the boss who deals damage to you via contact has a larger hitbox to damage you than he has a hitbox to, for you to damage him. Why do I not jump over that flame? I definitely should have enough momentum in, in midair to get over that flame. I can say with certainty now, this first phase is by far the hardest. Like, and it's not even close. Well, I guess I can't speak for the final phase, because I haven't really gotten to explore it yet, but...
This seems like it's the phase where it's the hardest to avoid damage. Oh, thank goodness he died. Thank goodness. Because I was going to be in big duty this time. That, I wasn't even close to him. I'm really just not allowed to leave that first phase of full HP. Leaf, man, that leaf almost ruined everything. What? Come off it! It spawned me on top of that! That's such BS. What the heck? I think it technically didn't spawn me directly on top of it, but it spawned me so close that I couldn't react in time. Which, basically, same thing. Just like, yeah, you don't deserve to win this round. We're just gonna kill you. No ifs, ands, or buts. Why is a salt shaker more difficult than the devil? Stuff! Like, if the heavens align perfectly, you can dodge everything. But if they don't, you can't. Sugar cubes, cookies, limes, a fireball, strawberries. Pretty much all at the same time. How are you supposed to deal with it? Like, I... When I... Tomorrow I may end up looking up a speedrun of this, just to see what strategy they employ. Because I'm truly baffled how anyone can get through this. Consistently damageless. Good luck with the weird voice, because I'm probably not going to be talking too much. Because I need to concentrate. But sure, let's talk in the weird voice. 
Oh look, took a hit already. Fun. A great <laughs> Probably should have turned off that for Cuphead stream. Oh well. You see, with my magical cookie dough, I will rule the world. It's like, how how will that work? Well, everyone loves cookies, so uh, don't make me their leader. It's, I, don't think, I don't think that's how that works. Yes, it will. It will be perfect. Yes. I can't wait to make magical cookies and take over the world. With them. Yes, this is perfect. I can't see any way that this plan could go wrong. I have the ultimate weapon. Limes. I love limes. Limes are so great. They'll get you out of any situation. <laughs> Ow, stop hitting me with my own pepper shakers. Stop it, you're assaulting me. Did you see what I did there? Because, uh, you know, I'm a salt shaker and you're assaulting me. It was funny, yes. No! Why are you not laughing at my joke? Stop it! Oh, look! He tried to screw me over again by spawning me right next to the thing. Alright, that face didn't last very long. Wonderful. Okay, that's not fair. Alright, I do have my invulnerability, which I will be taking advantage of. Oh, what? I was still on screen! My feet had left the screen. Are you serious? This is the worst. Good you don't... You never finish a final boss with an auto scroller. Are you kidding me? I was still on screen almost completely. Let's go. Did, did the bottoms of your shoes disappear? Yeah, you don't exist anymore. It's like... God, this... This fight could have been so good, but they had to ruin it with the first and final phases. Actually, no, even the third phase stinks with its massive hitbox. Only the second phase is that good. Alright, I'm so sick of this. It's hard for me to do weird voices while I'm concentrating on a hard video game. But you know what? It's my fault. I should have turned off that alert for this stream. Oh well, I think I did a good job with the weird voice. I was basically pretending to be the boss I'm fighting. Hopefully it was amusing. Everywhere I go, you can't escape. Really? Honestly, that stupid flame is the bane of my existence. If that wasn't there, this fight actually might be manageable. But because it's there, and it's always there, and it's constantly, like, homing in on you, it's the... Well, no, the limes are still definitely the worst. But it makes everything else worse. I'm s <sighs> What do you mean I haven't lost my cool? I've been making weird grunting noises. How is that not losing my cool? <laughs> I haven't like gone b berserk, but also I'm I'm not sure if at this point I really can go berserk just playing games. I save my berserk mode for when it's actually like necessary like like if someone's beating up a child.
All right, see you, Simpsons R Us. Enjoy your dinner. I just realized, is this music like a... Is this part of the music a remix of the Devil Boss fight music? I definitely hear some similarities. Oh. You've got it. Okay. Well, there was just no way out of that one. I'm always at the final phase of 1 HP, aren't I? Are you serious? I hate vertical auto scrollers a lot. Well, I hate auto scrollers in general. Auto scrollers are always dumb. I think the only example of an auto scroller that I actually think is done well is like the Donkey Kong Country minecart stages, and those aren't really auto scores. Those are just you're in a vehicle that happens to be moving fast. It's not an oh the screen is following you and will kill you if you don't move fast enough. But also you can't move too fast. Like, they originally did auto-scores, auto I think, just due to technical limitations on the NES. Not out of any design choice. And then they're just like, this is great, everybody loves these, let's put these in every platforming game. It's like, no! But Super Mario Bros. 3 did it! Yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3 also had a frog suit in it. That doesn't mean you put that in every game. Super Mario Bros. 3 also promoted gambling, which I do not support, so... We all know that's not a perfect game. It's also feeling like this fight is taking up as much time as all the other fights combined. I know it's not entirely true, but it feels like it's true. All right, free HP in the second phase. This is good. Wow, I'm surprised I got off that diagonal shot. Easy. I'm now very paranoid about hitting the bottom of the screen, because apparently if any part of you touches the bottom of the screen, you die. There we go! Take that, you stupid salt shaker. You're not making me salty today. Well, that definitely took longer than two minutes. 202. It's still gold, though. I'm actually gonna get an A minus, though. Good, good job, Bug Man. Miss Chalice. Thank goodness you're okay. That dastardly salt baker. He had us hoodwinked the whole time. He's apparently still alive. Zooks, this place is coming down! Let's get out of here! Yeah. Duh. 
Wait, he's still alive? No, my bakery! Serves him right for duping us! But the, with the bakery destroyed, you're never gonna get that Wonder Tart Chalice! That's okay, if some poor soul has to be sacrificed for me to live again, it just ain't worth it. But mark my words, boys, I'm never gonna stop searching. And in the meantime, if you ever find yourselves in a scrape, I'm one cookie bite away. Besides, who needs a Wonder Tart when they have two best new pals instead? The epilogue. <laughs> yeah. See? Serves see crime doesn't pay, folks. <laughs> He got off just on community service? <laughs> I like how they did like a comic on the epilogue, that's pretty funny. It reminds me of those good old Donald Duck cart comics. Nice. I guess Salt Baker got a redemption arc. He was bad, but then some good good works changed his character. You know, I I can get behind that. Good job, Chad and Jared Moldenhauer. All right, that was fun. I think I don't know how that compares to the other bosses. Again, the main game I just love so so much. The DLC, I think it was definitely well done. There were a couple of parts where I'm like, nope, <laughs> that's not okay, like the, the gravity screw and that first phase of Tart Baker, but I think a lot of the rest of it was pretty, pretty solid. Very, very nice. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to go and try to S-rank this stuff, because, um, dear lord, that sounds hard and not particularly fun, but we'll see. <laughs> it is nice to see a guy reform. I feel like maybe we, a lot of that happened off-screen, but you know what? Hey, no, no one is beyond redemption, so I, I could get behind this. Good job, Salt Baker. I thought for sure we had just killed him by the end, since we shattered him and then defeated his salt and then defeated his heart, but, well, eh, there we go. I loved the graphics of this game, and the music it was fabulous as well. <laughs> I guess I, one thing I might do off stream is uh, try out Chalice a little more, because I, I used her in the tutorial. I didn't really use her for any of the bosses, though, so may maybe some of the bosses were made for Chalice. I, I don't know. May maybe. I have to think about that, though. Ugh. <sighs> wow. I definitely streamed for longer today, but remember, this was effectively my weekend stream. Just on a weekday, so... It generally is supposed to be a bit longer. And now we don't have to make this an ongoing series, this is just a cool one-off. Oh, and also, that reminds me, I still have to... There's still a couple of stream videos that I have to upload that I haven't yet, so... Guess I'll be doing that over the weekend. da na 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 da Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Hollow Knight will be on Monday. Yes, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be returning to Hollow Knight. And I will be playing it again on Wednesday unless we finish up everything I want to on Monday. I don't necessarily see that happening. But I also don't know where else to go. So I might be needing some guidance from my good old Hollow Knight experts <laughs> on other stuff that I've missed. Either that or I can just try to get the other endings. 
Also, it's been so long since I've streamed Hollow Knight, I don't even remember where I was at, so... <laughs> we'll have to go off of that come Monday. Otherwise, yeah, I'll have to think of a new uh, weekend stream series. Because we finished Grisea, we fin this was done in one week. The game I originally had planned, I might be delaying a little bit more. I'll have to think about that. And I got a long list of stuff that I could play. Hey, Fly! Welcome! Got here just in time. Just in time for the credits. Yeah, you missed a lot of salt. <laughs> you missed a lot, of, a lot of struggling to beat the bosses, but we did it in the end, and we finished the DLC. Actually, you're just the guy I wanted to see, so... Uh, I, I know you mentioned that our Kingdom Hearts Level 1 run, you said I should just finish on my own. And I know you were kind of going through some financial stuff. I guess I should ask... Is, was it the financial stuff that was the reason you didn't want to play, or are you just kind of losing interest in the level 1 run? Because if you're still interested in doing that and completing that, I'm happy to wait it out until you're ready to finish that, because I think that would be fun. But if if you're in a situation where you're just like, no, I want to do it on my own later on, then that's fine too. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. You just didn't have time to stream that uh, recently. I totally get it, man. <laughs> Definitely walk the doggy, Nintendo Addict. It's important to walk the dogs. I, I've never owned a dog, but I do know that much. Well, hey, yeah, yeah, Fly, just let me know. If you're still interested in continuing that level 1 run, just let me know, and I'm, I'm perfectly happy to wait. I mean, it's been almost two years at this point, so, like, <laughs> come on, what's a, what's, what's a little bit longer? <laughs> I also know that you were still working on catching up, so I'm happy to help out there wherever necessary. Oh, you technically have to replay everything in level one. Oh. Okay, you want to, but you have to replay everything. Okay, well, that, that kind of sucks, but, again... If you're willing to do that, then I'm I'm willing to wait. I don't think there's anybody who's particularly like, when are you, Artie, when are you going to finish the level one? <laughs> so, yeah, you you and I can talk in Discord if, if needed. In the meantime, I've, I've got no shortage of other games on my list to stream. Also, I, oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to add the Final Fantasy VII remake to my list of games to stream, because I know... That's something I do want to play eventually, and I know you've recommended it, so. Oh. You know, because it's your girlfriend, it's acceptable. <laughs> and hey, if she's getting into Kingdom Hearts, then I, I still consider that a win. I really do. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I know you mentioned you're like, I want to see you play that. I, I will let you know. Like, when I start planning on streaming that, I will let you know. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe I could even have you on as a co-commentator, potentially. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have to see. If Yeah, that's still, that's still a bit down in the future, because uh, I have a bunch of other games I want to play. And also, I don't technically own the game. My older brother does, but... I also may be moving in the near future. I'm still trying to figure that out. Yeah, a lot of stuff happening, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ke Kingdom Hearts is a great series. Emotional. Very, very fun. Confusing plot. Don't even care. It, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. I, need, I also need to Let's Play Birth by Sleep eventually. That's on my list. It's a delicious last course. It's the delicious last course. <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, that was Cuphead DLC. That was definitely a lot of fun to play. I'm kind of glad I got to do it all in one stream. No no need to be like, nope, we need a separate stream just for the Soul Chamber guy. <laughs> yeah, thank you all so much for joining in. This was a blast to play. It was great talking with you all.